la double clé de l'OTAN et de l'ONU. Là, de l'ONU, c'est-à-dire une protection aérienne des casques bleus, trop facile de jeter la pierre à l'ONU. Cette organisation, elle fait ensuite respecter l'interdiction de survol de l'espace. But I really hope that the pressure, which is now made publicly by the United States, by several uh, Western uh, countries and institutions, will convince Yeltsin and his team um, to stop as soon as possible, I hope immediately, uh, a violent intervention. It's familiar to all of us. And we've never pretended, nor is it obligated under the agreement, to sweep all these away within a minute. Um, what I think President Yeltsin uh, signaled uh, last week was not, um, was not a, a ceasefire, but he, he certainly uh, indicated what his position was about uh, bombing of the uh, capital of uh, Chechnya. Uh, I think even the degree to which he has indicated um, that he will involve other senior Russian officials uh, in the process is also another uh, indication that he is seized with the problem. Uh, he has put uh, uh, Prime Minister Chernomyrdin in charge of contacts and, and uh, political talks with the Chechen opposition. And I think that um, they are, uh, there are reflections of that. And, um, and I think uh, clearly the uh, Russian uh, authorities, including President Yeltsin for himself, are, are looking for uh, ways that they can deal with this problem. Do you have the, you know, the persistent... Well, I'll check. How about check and let me know, huh? Call their, their liaison office. Right. The Chechen crisis so far. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's abominable. It's a, it's a disgrace. Uh, we have covered over uh, what is going on there. But uh, there's nothing new about that. Uh, over a year ago, it was evident that Mr. Yeltsin was no longer a leader of reform, but rather a, a figurehead that was presiding over the... Uh, reversal of reform. Because they have lost a lot of people. And this is the first time, as far as we know, that uh, Moscow television has been showing graphic instances of Russian losses. Both the democracy and the economic stability are in our interest, as well as in Russian interest. So we should have given advice early on to a good friend, is my major source of trust. The last two weeks certainly have indicated that President Yeltsin is barely in control, if at all. We frankly are mystified by his movements, by his statements.